Welcome back to Miller's RC channel. Today we're going to be talking about LiPo batteries, chargers, storage, how to charge your batteries, and what to look for in a bad battery. Let's get down to the bench and check some of these out. Let's start off talking about chargers. Today I have the Venom Pro Duo uh, charger from Venom. Uh, I'm actually running two of these right now. I've been running them for about two years and have had no problems out of it. It's a standard four button charger with two sides. It runs a lot like an IMAX V6, which a lot of guys are used to now, and that's the cheaper version. Uh, this one normally comes in around $100. Uh, they do have a four port that's around $200. I just went with two of these chargers. It was more economical for me to have one to take to the field or have both set up at the shop. Let's get down to the bench and I'll show you some programming and why you'll program certain settings on your charger. Let's start off by talking about sizes and capacities of batteries. You'll also need to know your cell counts when you're doing charging. So for instance, this is a 5,000 milliamp, 22.2 volt. So the way you know how many cells a battery is, is if it's 7.4, it's a two cell. 11.1 .1 is a three cell. 14.8 is a four cell. 18.5 would be a five. And a 22.2 .2 would be a six cell. It'll also be labeled on some batteries what they are. Um, right here, I mean, they've got the sticker. Uh, this one says 3S, which is a three cell battery. So when you're charging, a good rule of thumb that I like to run with is charge at 1C. The easiest way to do 1C is say this is a 1500 milliamp battery. Take a decimal point, move it over two spaces, three spaces, excuse me. So you would charge this at 1.5 amps on your charger. We'll get into that more as we start charging here in a minute. But I just wanted to show you, batteries come in all shapes and sizes, so you'll have to know what your battery is before you actually start your charging. Let's say we were gonna charge this battery as an example. It's a 1500 milliamp, 11.1, .1, three cell battery. We know it's a, a three cell battery because it's 11.1 .1 volts. So when we go to our charger, we wanna pick I normally always pick balance, but you can do a faster charge by picking charge. Balance is what I usually choose. So here we are at balance. We're gonna set our amperage. So we're gonna go, rule of thumb, 1C. So 1500 milliamp battery, move your decimal over three spaces, it'd be a 1.5 amp charge rate. So we're gonna move this down to 1.5 amps. Start is always your advance on these chargers. So you go one more over. This is how many cells you have. You can either go off of if it says 3S or you can go by your voltage. We know this voltage is 11.1 .1 volts. If it was a different voltage, I would just change it up or down according. So we go to three cell. Then you take your leads, put your balance plug into the port, connect your charger, like so and start the battery now that we're starting to understand cell counts and sizes let's start talking about proper care of your batteries so when you bring your batteries back from the field from a day of flying you'll want to plug them in and check what the voltages are on your batteries right here i have a venom battery checker you can pick these up for about ten dollars so you can see that this battery is out of balance now and your nominal storage voltage is 3.8 volts per cell. So this one needs to be balanced. We'll go over that here in just a second of putting it on the balance charger and storing it. Let's check some of our other batteries real quick. Great tool, only $10. So here we have a four cell battery. We take and plug it in. Now you've got four cells showing up. This one is pretty close to fully charged. 4.20 is gonna be fully charged on any LiPo pack. If you get them under 3.1 a cell, a lot of battery chargers won't let you charge them because it's, be because it's becoming dangerous at that point. Let's see if we can find one more here and check it.
Here's another one. This one's at 3.9 for a cell. This actually has a mode on this thing right here where you can hit balance or discharge. If you hit discharge, this will actually take it down to 3.8 a cell on its own. But I'll show you on the other charger how to do it. All right, here we are down on the bench. We've got the battery already hooked up as we showed before. You plug your standard lead in here and your balance lead in here. Then you're gonna go down to your charger. We've established that this one has a low cell count and we wanna bring it up to 3.8, which is our storage cell. So we're gonna go on our charger. Right now we're at balance. We're gonna hit stop. This brings us to our programming selecting screen. This is where you can pick between a LiPo or a nickel metal hydride. We know we're using a LiPo, so we pick LiPo. Start. We don't wanna charge right now, we want storage. So balance, fast charge, storage. I set mine almost always to one amp. This is how fast it's going to discharge the battery and then how fast it can charge it up. If you're doing a small battery, like a 800, you'd set this to 0.8. Um, we're gonna take this and go over one, 11.3. We know this is a three cell, excuse me, 11.1. So we get it all set up. Now we're just gonna hold the start button it's gonna do a battery check. It's gonna ask confirm, yes, and we're gonna hit start. Once it's started, it tells you what amps it can go to. It tells you um, the voltage, how long it's been running, and then we can hit this button and this will tell us each of the cells. 3.34, 3.40, and onward. So it's gonna take all three of these and try and make them as close to 3.8 as it can. A well-balanced battery will last you much longer and be a much more efficient battery over time. So now that we've started to see our charger, I showed you without the LiPo sack to begin with just for the ease of showing you the video. When you're charging or decharging a battery, you always want to use a LiPo sack at the minimum. This just helps contain a fire if there was ever a fire to erupt from your battery while charging. This happens normally only if you're charging a battery in a very wrong way. As long as you're being careful and setting your charger to the correct settings, you should never have an issue. But it's better to be safe than sorry. This is your cheapest way to do it. These are only about five to $10. Now, I have invested over time, I charge a lot of really big batteries that have a lot of potential energy in them, like this 6L5000. A battery safe is a great investment. They actually call this a bat safe. And it, if you open it, has a very thick wall of fireproof material in here. And these are special vents that will let the smoke escape, but will not let the fire come out. Um, it keeps it from becoming a big bomb when you have this locked. There's a place to put your charger leads through right here. And it's a great place if you only have a few batteries to store them. To reiterate, I just wanted to go over setting up a couple different battery sizes and showing you some different things. Now, the other thing you need to check on your chargers before you start this is how many watts it's actually rated for. The Venom Pro is rated for 80 watts. So we're pretty safe to charge any of these batteries on this charger. So, 6L5000. So, if you wanted to charge this battery at 1C, you would charge it at 5.0 amps. I wouldn't recommend it if you're actually doing a charge this big of a battery. I usually charge these at about 3.0. Now, on anything 4 and 3 cell, unless you're doing massive batteries, which most guys aren't, they're running anywhere from a 800 to a... 4,000, you're pretty safe. You can charge those at your 1C rating and not have any issues. So with the three cell 1500, we would charge this at 11.1 volts and 1.5 amps. So if we were doing a 3000, we would charge this one at 3.0 amps. And this is a four cell battery. So we would charge this at 14.8 volts. This is another six cell battery. This is a 3.3, which means this is a 3300. I don't know why Turnigy does that instead of writing it on there like they do right here. Um, sorry. 
Anyway, so this one you could charge potentially at 3.3. I guess that's why they do that. Your most common battery size is a 3-cell 2200. This battery at 1C is 2.2 amps when you're on your charger. And it usually takes about 45 minutes to charge this battery. I hope this kind of clears up the battery stuff. I get asked all the time on forums, what should I set my charger? You know, each battery is going to be a little different, but that should help you at least get it to where you know safely how to charge your batteries. In conclusion, guys, we've learned how to properly charge our batteries, identify what the cell size is, the cell voltage, how to properly maintain your batteries after a long day of flying, some safety products to keep your home safe, how to check your batteries, some nice tools for that. Once again, thank you for checking out our channel. Like and subscribe for more videos, and we'll see you next time.